The non-book book report project covers uh, a requirement uh, to have the students choose a novel from the AP recommended list to prepare for the exam. Um, and in the past, the assessment was an essay. Um, but I've also had um, visitors, with different principals, different district people come in, and they often will interact with the kids and ask, what are the standards that you guys are learning? And they're like, we don't know, but we're really engaged, and we love this class. And you know, I know it has to do with these universal themes. And so I thought, wow, I should increase their awareness of the standards that they're hitting. And so I made up a different assessment where it crosses disciplines. They have to, they're required besides the ELA 11th and 12th grade uh, reading for information standards. They also had to have two literacy standards for science, two for social studies history, and they had the option to swap out two math for either of those two. The learning outcomes, I think for the students one is to, part of it, the learning outcome, outcome was for them to, one, demonstrate an understanding the universal themes and conflicts in the novel and or the particular structure that uh, an author chooses to write. Um, and then the other was, the big, I guess the big essential question was what part of their novel is relevant to today's society? And so their, the last part of this non-book book report project, it deals with a public sharing, which incorporates using technology and or uh, an, a form of activism, social activism or awareness. So public sharing uh, is not limited to the walls of this classroom. Students could post their three-dimensional brain model on PTSD effects in their psychology class. Uh, students created videos on technologies, negative effects on social etiquette on YouTube, which is kind of ironic. So I used the, the standards that they chose, because they could have, have chosen from, I think, 10 literacy, uh, ELA standards, eight science, eight math, 10 history standards. So whichever ones they, they chose for their proposal is how I'm going to assess their project. Um, and some of them in the reflections, they said, well, they started with, this, with these, trying to meet these standards, but then the energy of the project flowed to another area. So it actually then, can it, I choose these two standards instead, miss, because it, I think it's, but the fact that they're now aware of the standards and what evidence means, uh, I think it has been an improvement for the course. I think the, the proposals, the initial proposals, uh, was a lot of concern where I said, these are the requirements that I need, standards. I need the shape of your project, and you, you determine your deadlines and I hold you accountable to that. And they're like, well, is there a form for the proposal? Like, how do you, how do, as professionally as possible. And they took that word professional to mean various things. And so it was really interesting to see the quality of the proposals. Yeah, I think that set up the standards and everybody was like, what are you turning in? Oh, you turned into that. Oh, you made it like that. <laughs> and, uh, and it was fine. Well, I think the, the essential question was how is one part, one aspect of your novel relevant to today's society? And so that's where the science and the research part comes in, or historical background, um, but then also the social activism awareness part. So one student created this website on, from Catch-22, based on her reading, uh, a whole website on PTSD and how it, what happens within the brain, with the hippocampus and the med, med, medulla, and as far as uh, uh, she had some current songs by artists out there, 
uh, amazing art photography as well. And so I think, and she hardly says anything in the class, you know, she's just quiet by nature. But to see the wealth of knowledge, and connections, and uh, she had resources, you know, if you know someone who may be suffering from this, these are some suggestions, suggested websites, help for you out there. And so I thought, wow, that's, that's great, right, from reading a novel. Yeah. Uh, some of the uh, presentations within the class have led to students running or asking, prompting Socratic discussions. They ask, oh, do you mind if I do a discussion then instead of just a passive presentation on PowerPoint, Prezi, whatever. I said, yeah, sure, that's fine. And another student said, oh, do you mind if I take them and we go outside the classroom? Because she had a, a rating system so that, that focused on the haves and the haves not within society. So she had them all line up and for every question like, do you own an iPhone 6, you st take a step forward. And then sooner than later, after the end of the questions, we saw the clear divide between the social and material classes, uh, materialism. Uh, it was a great uh, activity. I open it for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's relevant for the students because they got to um, play upon their strengths, you know, so whether they are performing artists, someone did the singing of, uh, created a modern version of A Midsummer Night's Dream and she sang it in class, all the four main characters' parts, and, and did duets from, you know, contemporary rap songs and everything. Um, and then we have uh, people who are more, who want to write, <laughs> they want to do research, <laughs> and so they got the option to submit their evidence uh, that way. So it was relevant. Um, yeah. What is it, what is it, what skills um, are they using that they may use later on? So far from the reflections that I received from the students, a big part of it is uh, time management. <laughs> that this project requires your own time management system, and I wish I had this and that. and So that's a good thing, right, that it was challenging. And then also to give, like they had to choose their project because it was so open-ended. And so for them to pick and choose their strengths is just, it's amazing how they then tie it together to their classic novel, you know, Pride and Prejudice or Crime and Punishment. <laughs>